when this incident happened in 2022. If y'all saw my initial reaction video, I'm literally confused. Like I'm spending five minutes trying to figure out like, yo, hold on. Is this old news or am I just late to the party? If y'all see my initial reaction, that was a raw live reaction because I was so confused on I'm like, yo, but the date says 2002. But it's 2024, so. What's going on here? And I think, and this is all alleged. This is all my opinion. <clears throat> I don't think that this is a coincidence. Shout out to KB. I was just watching KB Kwame Brown on Bus Life. Make sure y'all go check him out. Follow him on 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 his channel, Kwame Brown Bus Life. And I was um listening to him, and one thing that he said that stood out. He said, "It's election time." When he said that, I said, bingo. Why did they hold on to this footage for two years? All of a sudden, now it's election time, and here comes the video. Regardless of whether you feel like it's justified or not, very interesting timing. Election, election, election. Which president is going to soak this up? Which which president is going to play on the heartstrings of, of this, especially black people? This is definitely an interesting timing. Let's listen to this real quick. Address the body cam video released by the Atlanta Police Department on Monday. The 22 year old was shot and killed more than two years ago. His family more than two years ago. Why is this? I was so I was genuinely confused. I was trying to figure out, yo, the day says 2002. I'm, I'm thinking this just happened. Somebody sent me the clip and I'm like, ooh, did, did this just happen? But when I paid attention to the details, I saw 2002. I was like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, what? Family says he was suffering from a mental health crisis when that shooting happened at Fogo de Chao in Buckhead. 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates just spoke with the Cullens family. Bo Beth, <clears throat> what's your family's reaction after seeing this video? Good evening, ladies. Well, naturally, the family was devastated. They say their original goal was to make sure the public could see how their child was treated. But after we're seeing the video that was released yesterday, they say it is not the full video. And now they're calling for APD to be more transparent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So there's more video because I'm not going to lie. The video that I seen, it was very disturbing. But once you pay attention to the details, like, oh, snap. Why, why did you do that? There's a lot of things that that young man should have not done. This is not about black and uh, this is not about black and white. This is about what's right. Right and wrong. That young man could have avoided a lot of this if he changed, if, if he handled himself differently. Got to be honest. I got to be honest. Now, warning, this body camera video is graphic. In you see gunshots ring out inside Fargo de Chao restaurant on Piedmont. This was from back in 2022. Now, attorneys for the family say Nigel Collins had at least 10 shots. Say they say they saw at least 10 shots ring out and they accused the officers responding to the scene of using excessive force. The family. Now, that's the question excessive force i don't know the law I'm, I'm not about to sit up here act like i'm a lawyer and i went to the police academy i don't I, you know that's a battle that they're gonna have to fight do i think it's excessive force when you shoot at an officer i don't know because i did hear a shot the young man allegedly this is all allegedly from from what i've seen from the video it did sound like he did shoot at the officer that was on him. And if he, if, this is all if, if he shot the, the officer that, that, that tackled him. It's unfortunate, but. Uh. 
family says their attorney are also accusing the police department of painting a false narrative of the shooting and saying it was justified. Take a listen. I clearly know he's in a mental health episode. But of course, it ended in the most unfortunate way. And now you have the police trying to spin a narrative. We respectfully ask for law enforcement to release the unedited version, not their editorialization. They've already put their narrative out there. And we would argue their narrative is incorrect. But to try to editorialize to the public in a case that's still open, in a case where they have not made a determination of whether or not this officer was justified or not, runs afoul of the very spirit of transparency and justice. Now, according to what he said, there's an unedited version. We have yet to see that unedited version, but I can't lie from the video that I've seen. It's very unfortunate. So I'm just basing my opinion on what I've seen so far. So if there's an unedited version that, that comes out that shows something different, I will adjust my thoughts. But from what I'm seeing, man, I can't lie. It's not looking good. New body cam video shows the moments that led to a deadly shooting at a Buckhead restaurant. Just hours ago, Atlanta police released this video from right now from that night. Officer shot and killed 22 year old Nigel Collins inside the Foco de Chao on Piedmont Road. And tonight, Nigel's family is finally that video not connected to this particular case to help us understand the force the officers used. So Angelina, what did you find out? Well, Ron, the question that remains tonight is, did these two Atlanta police officers do everything they could to de-escalate the situation the before firing their weapons? More than That's two hours of video were released, and we've combed through it all. Two hours of video. So what we've seen is not the entire video. There's allegedly two hours of video of this incident. Tonight, those tense moments escalated quickly. It took less than a minute for shots to be fired. A distressed 22-year-old Nigel Cullins throws himself on the floor as two Atlanta police... And you should have stayed on the floor. Should have stayed on the floor, man. To be 100% honest, he should have stayed on the floor. Knowing that you have a gun on your hand, knowing that you're black, knowing that you're not supposed to be there, knowing that you grabbed a bottle from behind the back of the bar, Police officers approach him. Officers tase Nigel. He yells stop, gets up, and runs away. They follow their protocol, you know, the taser being the uh, less lethal forms of, of uh, force. Mike Puglis, a current attorney and former mm. law enforcement officer, watched the body cam video to analyze That's the use of force. It is quick. It is so Very. quick. When Very. Nigel tries to leave, the security guard who made the initial call now, right here, this is the this is the uh, security guard that got shot. Paul tackles him to the ground and a shot is fired, leading officers to open fire 10 times. We pause the video before the officer shoots. Nigel is on the ground with his hands up. A total of 10 shots were fired, five and then a pause and then five more. And if that is true, then I would like to question why the pause. From what Bingo. I saw, I didn't see a threat on the ground. Mm. In an interview. That's key right there. That's going to be where I think this case is going to be determined. Why the pause? Why five extra shots? So excessive would definitely, in my opinion, go with why was there five shots of pause and then five more shots? So if the family is suing or upset about that i think they have every right to and he knows it too right because the young man was on the ground he already he already was shot why pause and didn't shoot five more times so that is definitely messed up that is definitely messed up all right five and then a pause and then five more and if that is true then I would like to question why the pause. From what I saw, I didn't see a threat on the ground. In an interview weeks ago with Nigel's... Exactly. Now, that I agree with. <clears throat> and one more thing I want to highlight is the this. The guard tackles him. Police say... ...his name.
is their first time their son for a photo to chow in buckhead on may 18th of 2022 where he used to work at one point collins grabs a bottle now this is key right so of liquor from the he was disruptive, but that doesn't mean that he he deserves to die. He did not deserve to die like that. L let me just say this, right? Ten shots, def definitely over, um, over, overdue. I mean, over overdone, excessive. Um, but keep in mind, right? This is video footage of him behind the bars stealing or taking allegedly this is all alleged a bottle of liquor bar we have a guy in here running for his life in the video you can see collins at the bar of foco de chow and buckhead on may 18th of 2022 where he used to work at one point collins grabs a bottle of liquor from the bar we have a guy in here with a gun and um he's acting very very weird he did not point the gun but he is he's yelling at everybody 26 minutes after the initial 911 call officers responded you can see where apd edited the video with a red circle emphasizing collins with the gun the video shows officers deploy a taser on Collins. He runs and grabs what police say is that gun. When a security guard tackles him, police say Collins shot and wounded the guard. You see him tackle. You see the gun discharge. You don't see who discharged it. We froze the video here, but you can hear the moments. Police then open fire. Yeah, so I'm sure more information is going to be um brought to the to the surface but for right now right now my question is why now that's my first question why two years later this happened in 2022 why are we just not hearing about this people in atlanta didn't even know about this how did the people in atlanta didn't know about this when this happened in Buckhead. I see a lot of people in other people chat rooms saying, yo, I live in Atlanta and, and I didn't hear about this. Why was this story covered for two years and all of a sudden brought to the surface in 2024? Could it be a, a possibly, allegedly because of elections? Are they going to try to use this for politics? And another question is, um, what are they going to do about the excessive five shots? Um, in my opinion, unfortunately, I think that young man should have handled it differently. But he said that he had mental mental issues. Um, but from what the information that I'm gathering right now, not saying that I have all the information. Knowing that he shouldn't have been there, knowing that he went behind the bar, stole the bottle of liquor, you know, acting kind of weird, allegedly, um, with the gun. When the cops approached him, he should have just said, hey, I got a gun on me. I'm not trying to harm nobody and get on the ground. That's what he should have did. He should not have got up and ran. He should not have got up and reached for his gun because he did reach for his gun. Uh, now, police say now wounded right here, right the here. Guard. You see him deploy right here at this moment. He he did reach for his gun. I forgot where that video footage is, um, but he did reach actually reach for his gun, and I showed that on my video that I made earlier today. I can just pull it up real quick. So, yeah. Yo, 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 yo. Let me just pull it up real quick. Damn. See? So, this is, this is the gun that you see right here. And when he leaves and when, when he runs, you do see him pulling out, like, he he is um, reaching for his gun. So uh, this is this is not looking good, man. This is a very unfortunate situation. I think that young man should have handled it differently, and he would have been okay. He should have not ran. He should have not got up. He shouldn't have reached for his gun. 
reaching for the gun as he gets up. Right here, right here. You, you, you do see him reaching for the gun. This is not about black and white. This is about right or wrong. You, you see him running away, reaching for his gun. And then he shoots off a, 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 a fire. So, Like I said, based on the information here, he shouldn't have done that. He could have avoided this. But did why 10 shots? Why the excessive shooting? Why five shots? Why did he shoot five times, pause, and shoot five times? And why now? Why two years later? Y'all leave a comment down below.